In terms of merging audio and visual together in order to create stronger sonic branding, you can do that, but the frequency of the hearing and vision are so different. Sound is nothing but propagation of air molecule in a specific way, and the frequency of the sound is going to tell us how fast those molecules are vibrating, and the amount of the air that's being displaced is going to tell us how loud that sound will be. Within the first few hours of a baby's birth, every single sound is going to be programmed in a small little nucleus called dorsal cochlear nucleus, which is the gateway between the ear and the brain. But most of these are connected with other areas in the brain called the limbic system. And it primarily has two components, hippocampus and the amygdala. Hippocampus is the center of our memory learning and associative learning. And amygdala is the center of our emotions, pure emotion, love, hate, fear, enjoyment, rage, all of these are mediated by amygdala. But amygdala is extremely sensitive to sound. That's why when you hear a sound that you have some sort of a meaning with or some sort of past with, you're gonna react differently. If you hear dun, 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 not only you remember Mission Impossible, but you, you may have some hormones created in your body that you will feel a little danger. And that's how the body understands what to do. So the connection between the limbic system and our emotions are important. Anything that evokes emotion is going to create more of an impression on a human being. So if we could create a sonic brand that creates a belief gradually with consistency, then you have a gold mine that you could use to do anything you want.